Hey everyone, welcome to another installment of Harry Potter Theory. Today's video is going to be a little bit different than normal, as we're going to be taking a look at the filming locations for some of the most iconic scenes of the Harry Potter franchise. If you're anything like me, then when you watch an iconic scene in a film, your brain probably starts to think about where it was that, that scene was set. You can't help but be curious about what place in reality was reshaped to create the magic that you're witnessing on screen. Though I love the books dearly, the Harry Potter films have a very special place in my heart, in part due to the fact that I was very close in age to the actors that played Harry, Ron, and Hermione. As I grew older, the films were gradually released, and it gave me the opportunity to revisit these same characters, who had aged just as I had. This made them very special, magical, and I honestly felt that all four directors of the Harry Potter films did an excellent job at keeping this magic alive. With all of the other positives of the Harry Potter franchise aside, this magical feeling the films exuded could definitely not have been achieved without carefully chosen filming locations, which are the topic of this video. I'm not going to be taking a look at every filming location, but I'm going to be taking a look at some of the most notable, particularly from the first film. Of course, if you guys enjoy this type of video, I am always capable of making more. I'm not going anywhere. You just have to let me know. With that said, let's get things started. First, let's jump right back to the very beginning of the films and take a look at the iconic Platform 9 and 3 quarters. If you don't know what Platform 9 and 3 quarters is, then I don't really know what to tell you. You may be on the wrong video. It is, of course, the platform in which students board the Hogwarts Express, the Scarlet steam engine that brings students to and from Hogwarts. It's accessed by walking straight through the barrier between Platforms 9 and 10. Platform 9 and 3 quarters was of course filmed at King's Cross Station on the edge of central London. It's an active railway station, but at the real station you will find that Platforms 9 and 10 are separated by tracks. For filming, Platforms 4 and 5 were renumbered 9 and 10, and at the station today you'll find the hidden access to Platform 9 and 3 quarters, complete with half a luggage cart disappearing into the wall. The entrance to King's Cross Station in the film was shot at the St. Pancras Renaissance Hotel, also located in London. Next up, we're going to be taking a look at Diagon Alley, the famous cobblestone shopping area that allows witches and wizards to purchase all of their magical supplies. This is one of the first places that Hagrid brings Harry, opening his eyes to the magic of the wizarding world. In reality, Diagon Alley is also known as Leadenhall Market, a market dating back to the 14th century, it's located in London and operates as an actual market to this day, accessed primarily via the main entrance on Gracechurch Street. Once you've made it past Platform 9 and 3 quarters and have amassed all of your school supplies in Diagon Alley, next you'll be boarding the Hogwarts Express, the train that transports students to Hogwarts. It runs between King's Cross Station and Hogsmeade Station and makes the trip approximately six times per year, or more if necessary. It's on the Hogwarts Express that Harry first meets his faithful companions, Ron and Hermione. In the films, we see the train navigating through the countryside, scooting past beautiful greenery and even a body of water. Most notably, we see the Hogwarts Express travelling over a bridge. This bridge is known as the Glenfinnan Viaduct, found in Scotland. It's located on the West Highland Line in Glenfinnan, Invernessshire, Scotland. It is the longest concrete railway bridge in Scotland, at 416 yards, and crosses the River Finnan at a height of 100 feet. The viaduct also overlooks the Glen Finnan Monument and the waters of Loch Shiel. When you've finished your journey on the train, your next destination as a new student is a school that you may have heard of, Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Hogwarts is of course the castle where all students attend their magical studies, and in the words of Rubius Hagrid, Hogwarts is the finest school of witchcraft and wizardry in the world. While the precise location of the school is never revealed to us due to it being unplottable, in reality we know that Hogwarts School was filmed across a multitude of different filming locations. Perhaps most notably, these locations include Durham Cathedral, Onwick Castle, and Gloucester Cathedral. A behemoth task like creating a set for an entire school is no easy feat. So multiple locations were needed to establish a diverse array of interior and exterior shots. Durham Cathedral was founded in 1093 and is home to the Shrine of St. Cuthbert. The cathedral was proclaimed a World Heritage Site in 1986. Durham Cathedral is of course located in Durham, England, 
and boasts a 218-foot central tower with 144-foot western towers. Durham Cathedral is used for both interior and exterior shots of Hogwarts. Alnwick Castle is a castle and country house in Alnwick, in the English county of Northumberland. It is the second largest inhabited castle in England, and was used primarily for exterior shots of Hogwarts. It's also been used as a filming location for many many other films and TV shows, including Ivanhoe, Robin Hood, Star Trek, and more. And lastly, Gloucester Cathedral is a cathedral located in Gloucestershire, England, standing north of the city near the River Severn. I've actually had the pleasure of visiting Gloucester Cathedral personally, and it was absolutely spectacular in person. It is 420 feet long and 144 feet wide, with a fine central tower of the 15th century rising to the height of 225 feet, and topped by four delicate pinnacles, a famous landmark. The cathedral was used for many of Hogwarts interior shots. And that's it for this video. If you enjoyed this type of content, then let me know down in the comment section below. I'd be more than happy to cover some more of the filming locations if you guys are into it. Until next time, you're a wizard Harry.